Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm reviewing Wonderlist. It's an application designed for those of you who want to have a task manager across multiple devices. And let's say you have a Linux computer, you have a Mac computer, you have an iPhone and iPad, and you want to have your tasks synced across all those devices. This application has you covered. For starters, it's for free, so you can just get a start of it right away. It offers cloud sync. It lets you share your tasks. It has reminders, push notifications, due dates, priority, all that. I'm just going to go and show you the beginning here. You have where you can add, add your tasks to your inbox. Let's say I want to add one that has priority. And set a reminder for it, choose due date. For a reminder, you have to log in. I don't want to do that, and I'll tell you why. It, the main reason actually is I have done the login and I use my Facebook account. The problem is it doesn't really sync. So it, I mean, it does sync, but it, you have to try multiple times. I don't know if because the new version just came out and, or it's recently and these guys can't handle the traffic or something is breaking. So I have to try really hard to sync my tasks. Now this wasn't the case before, so I'm not sure this is something that just happened recently and I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the whole online service. It took me a while to even download the latest version. But they had a note on their website saying that there was a lot of load on their servers. So that's what I'm assuming that's going on, on, on with them. Uh, this application does allow you to have multiple set of li task lists. So let's say you have a project with a big set of tasks and then sub tasks. So you can create Two projects shows how many tasks each of them have. That was the sync option that I don't have. You can change the background, you can change data format, you can uh, log in from here as well. Let's change the background to something more classic. I can drag and drop these projects. I can edit the list names. I can go and let's say I wanna add a new task here. And once I add it, it shows the number of tasks right there. So it's pr pretty intuitive uh, in that regard. In order for me to share my list, I also need to have an account. And um, but as far as adding new tasks, that's pretty easy to do. As far as seeing the whole whole user interface, and you can see it in both orientations, um, portrait and landscape, it it works just fine. Either way, I I prefer it this way, but it's your choice. You do also have the option to choose the iPhone version. So the iPhone version is very similar except that it's designed for a smaller screen. You can tell that some elements are different. For instance here I have, I can favor tasks, I can delete them. I can tasks that have started are showing up there and th these features also are available in the iPad application 
but I just am showing it here because I didn't get a chance to show it there. You can see our to-do for today or for the ones that I have missed. And you also have your tomorrow, next seven days later, no due date and setting. Now this was, if you go to the other app, these were shown here, right there, the filters. So there are minor differences between the apps, but overall it works fine, except the sync feature. And I'm hoping that that's going to get fixed soon. I did manage to install this on a W7 Acer tablet, which is a Windows 8 tablet and also a Windows 7 computer and also my Mac. So it's nice to be able to keep track of all my tasks on multiple devices without having to use different programs. So that's about it. The last time this app was updated, the iP this is the iPad version was version 1.1.3. And then I think there's the iPhone version. I believe that information is different. The iPhone version is version 2 and the iPhone version was released on December 18, 2012. So that's the one that a lot of sites are covering now and are excited about. But in general, the app has been always great for me personally. I've been using it for a while now. And um, as long as the sync feature works, I think it has the potential to be a great to-do list manager and task manager but we'll have to see and an update update this review once i get the sync feature working and figure out why it's not working the way it should so let me know if you are having issues with wonderlist and maybe the the sync feature also or other issues that you have and uh, if you have suggestions maybe alternatives to this application that actually works everything works fine so I, i'd be interested to know that as well Thanks again for watching, guys, and please go to iPhoneAppsFinder.com for more reviews.